Yo, let's go through this real quick, some guided practice. Some of these are gonna be seem a little tricky, but they're really not. So uh, let's go ahead and go through it. First of all, let me give you a couple of the equations. Number one is gonna be molarity equals uh, moles solute over liters solution, the whole solution, okay? Molality, molality equals moles solute over kilograms solvent. All right, so with these two, I'll put a T there, with these two equations in mind, we are gonna go through a couple of uh, these and then I'm gonna give you the rest of these to do on your own. So uh, there's gonna be uh, multi-steps, but we know how to do it. So let's look at this. So this says up here, what mass of solute, okay, let's look over here. Oh, solute. But we also know that it says moles. Both of these says moles and both of these are solute. So what mass of solute is needed to prepare each of the following solutions? Now, the way we figure out which equation this is asking for is to look at this. It's telling us the capital M, which is going to give us molarity. Okay, so we're going to use this equation. So let's go through that. Okay, so we have... 100 uh, 1.00 liters so we know that so we're going to put 1.00 liters of solution um, of a 0 0.125 molar k2so4 now this solution is going to be one zero point one two five. this is the molar okay molar equals and we're looking for this, okay? Now, what we're gonna find out is that we're gonna get the moles of solution. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So anytime you have these two, you're gonna multiply those. So what we're gonna do is we are going to multiply 0 0.125 times one, and anything multiplied by itself is going to give us 0 0.125. So this is going to give us one, 0 0.125 molar, uh, moles of solution. So now uh, we have K2SO4, which is potassium sulfate. So we have the moles. Now we need mass, and mass is in grams. So we are going to have to go to our periodic table and convert moles to grams and so let's go ahead and write this down uh how we would do it 0 0.125 mole k2so4 boom and whatever you have on the top you have to have on the bottom so we're going to put one mole k2so4 and that's going to give us our grams k2so4 so let's go ahead and uh find out our grams of K2SO4. So what we do is we go to our periodic table uh, and we see we have K2, we have K2SO4. So we have a K right here. So that's going to be 39. We're going to round that. So 39 and we have two of those times two. Um, then we're going to K2S. Uh, we're going to put an S in, which is right here, which is going to be 32 plus 32. So we have K2S, we only have one S, so we're good with that. Now we have four oxygen, K2SO4. So we have 16 times four, that's gonna equal 174. So it's gonna give us 100, hold on just a second. Um, how do I get back up there? Let's go right here, boom. So we have 174 grams. Uh, let me get rid of this real quick. 174 grams K2SO4. 
So we're going to multiply across the top and divide by the bottom. So we are going to multiply 174 times 0 0.125. We're going to multiply these two, right? These two. And that is, uh, and then we are going to divide that by one, right? By one. So whatever we get here is going to be 21, 21.75 grams K2SO4. So that is our solute, what is being dissolved. Uh, and let me erase everything around that. That way we can see it. Uh-oh. Let's go back. So let's erase all of that, all of this right here so we can see our um, so we can see our answer clearly. And we know what we did, okay? So this is our answer, 21.75 grams. Uh, what mass of solute, what is being dissolved, K2SO4? It doesn't tell you what the solvent is but that doesn't matter it is the liters of the complete solution okay and in this case our liters was one um and our molar was 0 0.125 so what we did was we multiplied these two together uh, we found our moles then we converted our moles into grams all right so let's uh go on to the next one um and we're gonna uh, so we'll leave that there. Let's go on to our next one, which is going to be calculate the molarity of each of the following solutions. So here is our molarity equation. So we know mole solute, liter solution. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take um, the first one, A. Okay. So there's going to be some conversions necessary. So we have... 12.4 grams now we're looking for molarity so molarity is our question mark this is going to equal and we know we got 12.4 grams and we know that grams is going to give us moles if we convert based on the periodic table uh, that's grams of kcl this is going to be our solute okay this is going to be our solution now we also notice that we're going to have to convert from milliliters into liters because that's the deal okay so let's uh let's uh, erase that that way we can see the whole thing clearly okay um so let's go 12.4 grams kcl so let's go ahead and do some conversions 12.4 grams kcl boom right and we only got one of each so now whatever you have on the top right here you have to have on the bottom so we're gonna have grams KCL. Where do we get those grams? We get them off the periodic table. So we just go to our periodic table, KCL. Luckily, we only have one of those. So 1K is going to give us 39. Uh, plus 1CL is going to give us 35. That's going to equal 74. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to put our 74 grams, and that's going to give us our one mole. And that's going to tell, tell us how many moles of solute that we have okay so now all we do is 12.4 times 1 because we multiply across the top anything divided by it or multiply by itself is 1 so is itself so 12.4 um, divided by 74 equals so we have 0 0.17 moles kcl now we look at this and we have um, 289.2 milliliters of solution. So you convert milliliters, uh, you know, to, we got to go to um, uh, liters. So to, to 2.2, there is our um, decimal. So we go um, one back here. That is going to be our centimeters, decimeters, and then our liters. So we have... Um, Let's erase that, 0.2892. So we have 0.2892. And basically, I just converted these milliliters by backing that decimal up, okay? So now, I, all I do is, to figure out the molarity, now all I do is divide 0 0.17 divided by 0 0.2892. Uh, 
two, and that's going to give me uh, zero. So the molarity, molarity of this one is going to equal 0 0.58. Uh, we'll make that nine because we're going to round that 0. All right, let's do our next one. Uh, we're going to go to three. Remember, I'm wanting you guys to do um, B and C of the rest of them. Okay, of one, B and C, two, B and C, and then three, B and C. So this is going to say the molality. So we're going to use this equation because that is the equation for molality. Molality equals mole solute and kilograms of solvent. Not the whole solution, just the solvent. So uh, we are going to have to figure out um, how to do this, okay? Um, so let's look at, um, we have, let's look at A. So we have um, 2.89 grams, 2.89 grams. So we know we're going to have to convert that to moles because that is going to be our solvent. Why? Or our solute. Why? Because it's dissolved. Okay. Um, and so now we have 2.89 grams. Let's go ahead and convert that to moles. So at least we have this one. Okay. So, uh, and we have NaCl. So we're just going to go over here. Uh, we have 2.89 grams NaCl. So Na is going to be 23 right here. Okay. And then Cl. Uh, we only have one Na and one Cl. Uh, Cl is right here. And that's going to be 35 plus 35. And that's going to equal 58. So let's go back. 58. So now we have, uh, instead of 2.89 grams, here's how we do that, 2.89 grams NaCl, uh, whatever you have on the top, you have to have on the bottom, so we have grams, so now we're going to put our 58, 58 grams NaCl, because that is going to equal how much one mole <clears throat> of NaCl we have, so now we're going to multiply across the top and divide by the bottom. Okay, multiply across the top. Now, anything uh, multiplied by itself is, or uh, by one is itself. So now all we're going to do is 2.89, 2.89 divided by, divided by, because this would just come over here and be 2.89, divided by 58, <clears throat> divided by 58, that's going to equal 0 0.05. Let's do that. 0 0.05 moles, moles. NaCl. And so this is going to be our moles of our solute. Okay, now let's see. Do we have our kilograms of solvent? No, we have um, 0 0.15 liters of water. 0 0.15 liters of water. So how do we figure out the uh, uh, liters to go to grams. How do we figure that out? Well, let's uh, let's look at a formula. So um, let me let me get that for you. Liters to uh, liters to grams formula. Um, looking it up real quick, uh, just in my um, uh, in my documents. So our formula for that is. One liter, one liter <clears throat> equals 1,000, equals 1,000 grams, okay? So we have 0 0.159 liters of water. Here's our conversion. So we're going to put this down here. 0 0.159 liters of H2O. Whatever we have on the top, we have to have on the bottom. So uh, one, one liter of H2O is going to equal 1,000 grams H2O. So let's do that math. So basically, uh, we're going to multiply across the top and then divide by the bottom. So we're going to go <clears throat> 0 0.159. Uh, di uh, multiplied by times 1,000, uh, and then we are going to divide that by 1, and that's going to give us 159, 159 grams of H2O. So we have 
right now we have our moles. Uh, let me let me take this down a little. Uh, basically, ooh, let's not do that. Let's go back over here. Of eight grams H two O. Um, because I covered up the answer sheet. So what we have is our moles right here. Okay, our moles are right here. Uh, now we're going to try to figure out our kilograms of solvent. Our solvent is going to be our water. Uh, and so what we have here is 0 0.159 liters of water. Uh, we figured out that we have 159 grams of water. But this is calling for kilograms. So we're going to put our uh, decimal here at the end. And kilograms means that you're going to back it up. One, two, three, boom. So now we have 0.159 kilograms of H2O, which is our solvent. And molality equals that. That's what we're calculating for. So now all we do is we divide these two. Okay, so let's do that. 0 0.05 divided by um, 0.159, and that's going to equal 0 0.31. So this one is going to equal um, 0 0.31 molality. Okay, so if we were going to um, fill that out like this, uh, let's go down here. This would be 0 0.31 molality equals, okay, equals 0 0.05 moles NaCl divided by our kilograms of solvent, which was 0.159 grams H2O. So this is how we got this answer right here, and our answer is 0 0.31. Okay, so we've done some guided practice. Now I'm putting this sheet inside of uh, your um, classwork. So follow the process. If you have any questions, email them to me or hit me up on Classroom. Otherwise...